There seems to be a lot of misconceptions about how overtime works in Hell Let Loose, and I think there are plenty of newer players out there that don't even know it exists. So let's sort it all out. What did he say his name was? Gabatron. Hello everyone, I am Gabatron. Overtime, what is it? It's a game mechanic that allows for a team to keep the match going even though time has expired. But of course, there is more to it than that. What game modes have overtime? At the time of making this video, only skirmish and offensive modes allow for overtime. Warfare mode does not have the overtime mechanic. Okay, so how does it work? Let's start with skirmish mode. If a team is actively capturing the territory when time expires, then that team will begin to spend their available manpower resource to extend the match. If that team captures the territory before running out of manpower, then they will win the match. If that team runs out of manpower before the territory is captured, then they will lose. Now this next bit is where I think a lot of players get tripped up. As stated earlier, you have to be actively capturing at or before the moment time runs out. If the territory is contested when time runs out, overtime will not be forced. If at any point after forcing overtime territory goes from being captured to being contested, then the match is not over. As long as the forcing team has manpower, overtime will continue until one team or the other has complete control over the territory. So, while you must be capturing in order to trigger overtime, you do not need to maintain that state. Once overtime has been triggered, you can go from capturing to contested to losing back to contesting and then back to capturing as many times as it takes. The match will only end if the attacking team runs out of manpower or one of the two teams finally achieves full control. It's a little confusing at first, so go ahead and watch that part again, and if you still have questions, then go ahead and ask me down in the comments. Remember that capturing territory in skirmish mode works like warfare mode. So first off, that means that maintaining overtime will be difficult because you don't only need to be in the strong point to capture, but the four grid squares around the strong point also count. Second is that it takes two minutes to capture. That's a long time and could require a lot of manpower. The rate at which manpower is drained during overtime is 5 manpower per second. So how much manpower are you going to need to capture the point in skirmish? Well, let's take 120 seconds, or 2 minutes, multiplied by our drain rate of 5 manpower per second, and we'll get 600 manpower. But the answer isn't that simple. There are two other things to consider. First is that every time a friendly soldier dies, you will lose one manpower, regardless of roll. Second is that resources still accumulate during overtime. If you're gaining plus 60, then you'll still gain plus 60 of those resources for every minute spent in overtime. Overtime does not stop resource production. So let's say you only need to force overtime for 10 seconds. That would cost you 50 manpower. If five soldiers die in that 10 seconds, it would cost you 55 manpower. If you only had 50 available, then you would lose the match. Long story short here is that it's really hard to recommend bare minimum amounts of manpower you'll need to win. Mathematically, you know, you'll need 600 manpower to win in skirmish, you know, if you need the whole two minutes. But that does not account for losses due to friendlies dying, or any manpower gained during overtime, or if the enemy is able to challenge you, making it take longer than two minutes to capture. So I really don't know what to recommend. Um, let us know how much manpower you think commanders should be holding on to down in the comments. The main difference to how this works in offensive mode is that when the attacking team captures territory during overtime, it acts like normal and puts 30 minutes back on the match clock, extending the game and allowing the attackers to move on to the next point. Unless it's the final strong point, which would then result in the win for the attackers. Remember that in offensive mode, you only need to hold the strong point and it only takes one minute to capture. So it will probably be easier to achieve this, you know, than versus skirmish mode.
The rate is the same in offensive mode as it is in skirmish. If you force overtime and can capture for the full one minute, it'll cost your team 300 manpower. 60 seconds times 5 manpower per second equals 300 manpower. But again, you'll also need to factor in friendly losses, any resources gained, and time extensions due to the enemy challenging you. If you need to force overtime for the full minute, then 300 manpower isn't going to be enough. So commanders, make sure you are keeping those numbers in the back of your mind and remember, you can always convert munitions and fuel into manpower if you find yourself short. Learn more about how that works at the top right if you don't already know. Okay, important takeaways here are that you need to be capturing when time runs out to force overtime. Contesting the point doesn't do the trick. After overtime is triggered, the match will not end if territory becomes contested or even if the territory is being defended by the enemy, but will continue until one team or the other gains complete control of the territory or manpower runs out for the attacking team. Also remember that manpower is depleted at a rate of 5 per second, but this does not account for friendly deaths or resources gained during overtime. Another quick note is that overtime doesn't work on neutral territory. This could only ever happen in skirmish mode, but even if you are capturing it when time runs out, it'll just end in a stalemate. I don't think that'll ever happen, but that is how it works. Probably more than you ever wanted to know about overtime. Uh, make sure to ask any questions in the comments. This video is actually a re-upload as there were some things I overlooked in the original video. I'd like to thank Dossior7627 and Biztin Badger for their comments and questions. These made me reevaluate my work and helped me put out a better and more accurate video for the Hell Let Loose community. So thanks a lot and I appreciate your insight. Alright everyone, I hope you learned something new, and if you did, then go ahead and pull the trigger on that like button, share this video so we can all be informed, subscribe to learn more about how Hell Let Loose works, consider membership to get early access to videos just like this one, check the description for other ways to support what I do here, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.